Hello folks, my name is Tom Hall. Today we're going to take a look at how to read a max patch. We're going to take a look at a legendary granular synth that's been around for about 20 years, made in Max MSP, and it has inspired generations of Max users. Firstly, let's look at how to find it. In your browser, search for Sugar Synth Max MSP. And your first option here will be the Max Forums. This Lots of discussion about this synth. And the second option is Formant Brothers, and this is where to download Sugar Synth. Here it is Sugar Synth, real time granular synthesizer for Max 5. Works perfectly fine in Max 8. Download that. Your download folder will look like this. Double click Sugar Synth folder and Sugar Synth .maxpat is what we want to open. And here's Sugar Synth. I'm going to zoom in a little. So I'm going to unlock, zoom in a bit so that we can get a closer look at this. Awesome. There it is. Center the window. Okay, so any Max patch that was intended to be shared publicly, uh, typically the Max user will have left a few instructions, uh, some cookie crumbs, some numbered steps or something like that to allow you to get started. And this has those steps. So let's take a look. Easy steps to learn how to use. One, import some audio file by drag and drop. Okay. To interact with the patch, we did unlock it to zoom. So I want to lock it again. And now I'm going to do step one, drag and drop an audio file. I'm going to drag in a drum sample. Okay, cool. There's our drum sample. Start audio. Okay. So where does, okay, here's start audio. Click here. Okay, so that's working. Select parameter presets menu. Okay, so here's some presets. So if we turn the sound back up, I can select these different presets to hear different variations of this max patch. Normal, change pitch, change speed, hovering, random pitch, multiplication, You can also click these squares here instead of clicking the menu and that will have the same effect as switching the presets via the menu. So let's take a little further look at how this works. Over here is the loop play. I believe, yes, when this is turned on, the playhead, which you can see here uh, in green, the playhead stops, but the sound actually continues. It's just reading the grain of this synth in the same spot continually instead of morphing or playing through the audio as well as the grains. So that's a cool effect. It's essentially like freeze. Okay, that's neat. Uh, playback speed, so I believe when it's not paused, we can control the speed. Okay, 
So that's like time stretching. Beautiful. Over here is an overall gain level, so we can control the gain from here in the max patch in the right side toolbar, or we can control it from the patch as well. There's also stereo spread, so right now if you look at the left and right meters, they're the same, and if we increase the spread, the left and right meters will decorrelate adding more width to our sound. Nice. Here's our file length. This is our overall file length that we loaded. This is the current position of the playhead. So if I move the playhead by clicking on the waveform back to here, the time is a lot less. This is a random position, so this is randomizing the playhead read, read position. And if I turn this up, it gets very sporadic, and it will sound that way too. I find with granular synthesis, a little bit of random positioning is good, but uh, a lot is a little erratic and none at all is a little stagnant. Grain size. I love that grain size in this patch is represented with the green playhead. So if we have larger grains, the playhead is much bigger and that represents where it's reading the grains from in the audio file. So let's listen to this with some bigger grain size. That's cool. Uh, we have control over how, how many grains are playing at any one time. So we can have one grain or up to 64 grains. So let's hear what 64 sounds like. I'm going to decrease the grain size back to 200 milliseconds. So I just clicked in this box and typed 200. So with more grains, the sound is going to sound fuller and it's going to be di more, more difficult to determine the different grains. It's going to just sound like one big morphine grain. When we go back to less grains, you start to be able to hear the individual grains playing back and overlapping. And there's one grain. There's only one grain playing at a time. I'm going to switch this back to 24. Right now, enable mouse control for pitch is toggled on right here. That means I can click on the waveform change the playback playhead position and also control the pitch by dragging the mouse up and down. Awesome. If we want to fix the pitch, but be able to change the playhead, we can untoggle this here, 
set the pitch amount or set the pitch amount first actually then untoggle now the pitch is fixed and we can just change the playhead we could even pause the playhead and morph through the sound with the mouse we can also randomize the pitch you can randomize the pitch whether enable mouse control for pitch is enabled or not Okay, let's hear it with a different type of sample. So I'm going to turn the audio back up and then you're going to see me drag in a different type of sample. Right now we're using a drum percussive sample and I'm going to drag a pad sound into it. And what you'll notice is the sound changes greatly. The beauty of granular synthesis is it varies vastly depending on what sample you're putting into it. So I'm going to turn the sound up and then add a pad sound. Beautiful phasing there. This one is nothing. Wow, it's a very nice, almost tape, tape manipulation type sounds. And lastly, if we like what we have and how it's sounding, we can record some audio of this of this synthesizer so all we need to do is record your performance into an audio file click record up comes a window uh, you can name the audio sample i'm going to leave it as snd click save Set this to 100% playback. I'm going to set the pitch to be one. And now, actually, we can go ahead and 
drag uh, drag that audio we just recorded SMD AIF into here and there's the sample so now actually granularizing what we just recorded There we have it, Sugar Synth, how to use a Max Patch. Again, whatever types of samples you have around, the results will vary greatly uh, in granular synthesis, uh, but you will for sure find something that's, that's interesting. Uh, enjoy Sugar Synth. Happy patching.